Welcome to Griffin Park for this Barclays League third division game between Brentford and Bradford City. This uh, another crucial game for the Bees. Brentford just out of the playoff positions at the moment in eighth place. Bradford City four points behind them in twelfth, and City three points behind the Bees. And these two teams have recently had uh, contrasting fortunes in the goal scoring stakes. In the last two games, Brentford failed to score at Grimsby and Cambridge, whereas Bradford City, with two home games, scored seven. Four last Saturday against Leighton Orient, three on Wednesday against Exeter City. It's six years, seven years, in fact, since Bradford City last visited Griffin Park. And as on their previous three visits, they won. And first offside of the game against Stephen Torpy. City won that day 1 0 with a goal by Greg Abbott, who's on the subs bench today. And the last time the teams met before this season was an incredible 5 4 game at Valley Parade. At the time, it was six weeks before the fateful Bradford fire. City were top of the third division. Brentford were in mid-table. And Brentford were three up in the first 20 minutes. But City came back and eventually won 5-4. Here's Bates. Tackle by Ratcliffe. Tries to set Holdsworth through. Jones. Godfrey, back to Ratcliffe, looks for Cadet, easily cut out. Bates there, ahead of Bad. Bates in at the moment for the injured Keith Millen, finds his partner Evans. Bates. Brentford throw. Ratcliffe. Godfrey. Back to Ratcliffe. Intercepted by Reed. And a good flip back to Tomlinson. Paul Tomlinson, who was the £47,500 signing from uh, Yorkshire neighbour Sheffield United. Evans misses the header. Foul by Torpy though, and it's a free kick. Yeah. 
Brentford have slipped out of those playoff positions during March. They've had a very mixed month. Started off with a 2 1 win at Leighton Orient, then three days, two days later, tremendous 3 0 Leyland Death win at South End. Gale looks for Cadet. Holdsworth deflected. Jones in ahead of Tinian wins the first corner. Since then, Brentford suffered that disastrous 4 0 home defeat by Stoke. Beat Preston 2 0 in the last week, lost 2 0 at Grimsby and drew 0 0 at Cambridge. It's going to be Rostrum with the game's first corner. Looking for Evans. But uh, Bab can't keep it in. Cadet. And poor ball, but Jones wins it back. Carstairs finds Bates. If it Godfrey. Ratcliffe. Rostron. The aggressor and a free kick. Bates lets it go. Carstairs in his second month alone from Arsenal. Bates. Holdsworth. Tackle there by Sinnott. And good tackle by Rostrum. This Will Frostrum, assistant manager, starts off playing at left back and recent games has moved into his midfield role. In fact, this uh, Brentford team is the same one that played at Cambridge on Tuesday night, where Marcus Gale had probably his best game for the club today on the left wing. But he's still no place for Alan Cochran and Paul Buckle, who's been a fixture on the bench, although he did pick up a knock at Grimsby last Saturday. And straight from Tomlinson to Benstead. Intercepted by Jewell, Jones, Ratcliffe, Reed, Evans, a real up and under, and City come away with it. To me, Brentford throw. And uh, Dean Holdsworth's gone down. Early work for Roy Clare. So, Roy Clare's done his job and Holdsworth's okay. Evans turned by Babb, but played forward by Bates. Babb again. Carstairs. Jewell. Jewell again. Brentford playing a very tight offside trap. It's a good ball by Jewell and Bates has missed it. And it's going to be a goal. It's there. Lee Duxbury. Seventh minute. Brentford nil. Bradford City won. The long ball was played forward. Bates missed it. It came to Duxbury. He rounded Benstead. And with seven minutes gone, it's Brentford nil. Bradford City won. A fortnight ago, Stoke City took the lead here in the 67th minute and then went on to score four. Bradford have done it 60 minutes earlier. And what's going to happen today? Reed 
looks to talk either offside. It was well taken by Lee Duxbury. Jamie Bates, though, really should have uh, cut out that ball. James comes to Jewell. Evans, Jones. Cadet, Rostron, still Rostron, back with Tomlinson. Well, I wonder if this is going to be a carbon copy of the game at Valley Parade this season. Kevin Godfrey scored up there in the sixth minute. It was the only goal of the game. Bradford City spent the next 84 minutes prepping the Brentford goal. They missed about 10 good chances. Graham Bentley made some good saves, but City's finishing was poor on that day. Bates gets in there well this time. Jones, Holdsworth, Ratcliffe, Gale. Jewell. Duxbury plays it forward, looking for Torpy. Evans does well. Brentford can't afford to lose this game. They've already fallen a few places. They desperately need the three points to stay in the running for those playoff places. This is Jewell. Tackle by Godfrey. Godfrey, as I said, scored at Valley Parade. It's only, in fact, Bradford City's home record that's uh, preventing them from being further up the table. They've lost seven times at home in the league this season. Only Mansfield, who are in the bottom three, have lost more. Give me a goal kick. Stephen Torpy, one of uh, four Millwall players brought to the club by John Doherty, who was a former Millwall manager. Torpy came in a £100,000 uh, package deal with Darren Tracy, who's out with the virus. John Doherty, of course, had the unique distinction of joining Brentford five times in his career. Three times as a player, once as manager, once as assistant manager. This is Jones. Looks for Gale. A good catch by Tomlinson. Bates. And Brentford free kick. Jamie Bates, Gale, good header, there's no one there to pick it up, Tinian, Bab, that's a good ball. Brentford looking really stretched here but uh, Carstairs does well to come back, it was just overrun on that uh, right wing by Sean McCarthy, but again Brentford were in trouble, Holdsworth. Good tackle by Godfrey. Back with Tomlinson. Just uh, flicked off Jamie Bates and Graham Benson saves the corner. Graham Benstead, of course, another ex Sheffield United keeper, like his counterpart at the other end. Cadet, an ex Sheffield United forward, finds Jones. And Brentford throw. Ratcliffe with it, Godfrey. Ratcliffe again. It's for Holdsworth. Tinian, off Godfrey, City throw. Tinian with it. Cadet. 
Ball in from Godfrey. But it's safety with Tomlinson again. Bab. Intercepted by Carstairs, Rostron. Tackled by Duxbury, but Rostron wins it back. Beach Reed finds Jones. Four slow to play it back. Benstead Ratcliffe screaming for it on the right wing. Benstead ignoring him, maybe not seeing him. Goes off Holdsworth. Godfrey and a bit of a high boot from Tinian. Jones. Godfrey. Jones again. Play well played by Keith Jones. Looks for Gale on the far side. Now Rostron. Gale. Goal kick. Marcus Gale, I said earlier, had a really good game at Cambridge. Scored two good goals this season. The first of those spectacular one at Reading, but that occasion safely into the side netting. Safely as far as City are concerned. Torpy, good tackle by Evans. And Torpy's offside. And the linesman not giving it. Gale. Jewel. Evans. And the referee could have played the advantage there because Bab recovered from Evans' challenge. But he's won the free kick anyway. Jewel and Tinian over the ball. Tinian with it. Cleared by Carstairs. Ratcliffe clears it. Back to Tinian. Ratcliffe. Jones. Cadet. Good ball to Jones. Four by Sinnott. Comes to Torpy. And poor ball by Torpy. Went for throw. Gale. Rostron. Back to Carstairs. Off Duxbury for a Brentford throw. Quarter now gone. Brentford 1 0 down. Jones concedes the City throw. Jones. Bates. Finds Holdsworth. Nice ball to Ratcliffe. Cadet looked like he played it with his arm to me, and the linesman on this side agreed, and quite correctly, a Bradford City free kick. Richard Cadet scored five goals this season, but yet to hit the net at Griffin Park. Hoping he's going to change that today. Cadet's been on the transfer list for over a year, but he's still here. Evans missed that, and Babs' header, Benson just keeps it in. In fact, it's out for the goal kick. <laughs> Holdsworth. Evans finds Ratcliffe. Godfrey, well played. So Duxbury tackles him though, and knocked back by Sinnott.
City on top at the moment. Tomlinson. Carstairs. Rostron. Bates. And uh, it was a ball from Torpy for Bab on the far side, but Bab was about three or four yards offside. Brentford seems to have, have had trouble playing at home this season. They've said the best performances for the away games. Certainly, uh, although they only got one point at Grimsby and Cambridge, they played extremely well in both games. Bates, Cadet, finds Jones. Godfrey. Back to Ratcliffe. And the rain started to team down here. It's a chilly afternoon and it really is coming down quite hard at the moment. Ratcliffe. Holdsworth. Godfrey and a high boot by Paul Jewell. Brentford free kick. So Evans and Bates have come up for this one. Ratcliffe will be looking for them. And in fact, Gale got his head to it. Still Marcus Gale, beat James. Tinian cleared it there ahead of Godfrey. Jewel. Brentford throw. 